Today on our 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver. So here's what our hitch is going to look like once we have it installed. The cross tube is going to be hidden nicely behind the bumper and all we're going to see is that receiver tube sticking out. Our hitch is a Class 3 hitch which means it's going to offer us that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. We have a really wide variety of options when it comes to accessories. The way we're going to mount all of our accessories is so the hitch pin hole here on the side. It is going to accept a standard 5 8 pin and clip. Now these are not included in the kit, but you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com, along with some locking devices to make sure your accessories are secure. Our safety chain connection point is going to be a loop style, welded to the bottom of the receiver tube. And as you can see, we're not going to have too much trouble getting most size hooks on or off. As far as weight capacity goes, our hitch is going to have a 400 pound tongue weight, which is the maximum downward force of the receiver tube, along with a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount our hitch can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. Now it is designed to work with weight distribution systems as well. That's going to be a separate component that's mounted on your trailer. That's going to bump the tongue weight up to 500 pounds and the gross trailer weight up to 5,000 pounds. Now with all those numbers in mind, you always want to double check your owner's manual because you don't want to exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. I'd like to give you a few measurements and that's going to help you when you're looking for new accessories for your hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's right about four inches. The measurement's gonna come in handy when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough room and that they're not gonna come in contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's right about 14 inches. That measurement's gonna help you when you're looking for a ball mount to make sure you find the appropriate riser drop to match up to your trailer. But also at that height, I would recommend a bike rack or a cargo carrier with a raised shank. That way we can get a little bit more ground clearance out of it. Now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to come to the back of our Grand Caravan and we'll come over to the passenger side where our exhaust is. And we want to follow our exhaust back a little bit to where it's right behind the rear tire. And if we look up on the frame rail, we'll find our hanger. Now we need a little bit of room, so we're going to loosen this bolt up and lower our exhaust down so we can get access to the frame rail. We'll be using a 13 millimeter socket to pull that bolt out. As you can see, our exhaust did come down a little bit, but not enough to really get access to the frame rail. So if we follow our exhaust towards the front, Right in front of the rear axle, we'll have another hanger with that same size bolt holding it in place. So I'll take my 13 millimeter socket, pull it out, and it'll allow our exhaust to come down enough so we have some room to work with. At the bottom of our frame rail, we're going to have several bolts. We're going to pull these out, and the one at the very back of our frame rail, we're going to use a 15 millimeter socket. We want to hold on to the hardware because we will be reusing it. Now on the driver's side, we're going to have two bolts and we're going to pull both of these out. I'm going to be using an 18 millimeter socket to pull these out. And we're going to move over to the passenger side frame rail, but we're only going to have two bolts. The one at the very back and one going towards the front. Now with the next set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch up. We're going to make sure you clear the exhaust and go over it. And we'll line up the holes in the frame and we'll take our factory hardware and we'll secure the hitch down. You want to make sure you get at least one piece on each side. That way the hitch will support itself and we don't have to worry about it falling down. And I'm going to come back the corresponding sockets and we're going to tighten up the hardware holding our hitch in place. You want to make sure you come back with a torque wrench and we'll torque all of our hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. With our hitch torqued down we can put our exhaust back in place and replace the hardware. That'll finish up your look at the Curt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan.